So the double DVDs, I mean the double books you want. Because you'll read them so good. Let's read If I Had a Robot. Well, Mom said, you can't leave the dinner table until you finish your vegetables. Boy, I hate vegetables. I wish someone else would eat them for me. I bet I have a robot who would eat those vegetables at my command. Yes, sirree. With just a flick of the switch, he'd eat all my llama beans, cauliflower, and brutal sprouts. Yuck. I can't get him to take my bath. And piano lessons too. Boy, he could do everything I don't want to do. Why, he could even kiss my Aunt Louis and go to school so I don't have to. No hot shot could ever hit the home run when we're in left field. And those kids would dare pick on me if I had a robot. Gee, I'll be king of the playground. Hey, with my robot, I can bring king of my whole world. Wait, I can be master of the entire universe. And, oh, Phil, my mom called, whoever eats those vegetables gets out who cake for dessert. Like I always say, if you want something done right, you got to do it yourself. Give me a beautiful hot shot you are. Really? This is dog unplugged. This is dog. She's a robot. Each morning, his parents plug him in a fill with him up with lots and lots of facts. They love their little robot and want him to be the smartest robot ever. Today, you will be learning about the city, said his mom. Happy dog learning, said his dad. Dog learned about many city things. There were 8,175,133 people living in the city. People in the city throw out over 14,000 tons of trash each day. There are 750,000 manholes. The city fountains pump 100 gallons of water every minute. Firefighters respond to more than 195 calls each day. There are 40 miles of subway tracks and 468 stations. The tallest skyscraper in the city has 102 floors. The first 500 was installed in the city in 1808. There are 13,237 yellow cabs making more than 470,000 trips each day. More than 500 million pigeons live in the city, but there's something kind of the eye. It was a pigeon. Doug had just learned that pigeons travel in groups called flocks, but he didn't know they made such a fun and cool sound. He wondered if there were more things he could learn and went out into a city. So, Doug unplugged. Right away, he learned that he flew into a flock of pigeons that was scattered. Doug noticed that cities were teeming with people. He discovered that crowded sidewalks made it hard to see where you were going. <sighs> Doug found the subway. He already knew that subway trains right underneath the entire city. And that kid's rode for free. And now he found out the subway trains screwed their way around corners. He couldn't wait to learn more. Doug knew that South Skyscrapers had strong steel frames so he could more many stories high. But he was 
was amazed by you from the top of one. He could see everything. Doug learned many more things about the city, like white cement built which on your feet, fire engines aren't are loud, manholes are dark, some garbage cans are smelly, pretty flowers grow out of cracks in a sidewalk, taxi stop if you raise your hand, and a cool water in a park fountain feels good on the hot day. The dog came across something that wasn't in any of his downloads. Wanna play? Asked the little boy. Doug didn't know anything about playing, but he I was happy to learn. Okay. Doug learned how to play hide and seek in a new game called Tag. Doug found out there are all sorts of different ways to play. And then it was nice to have a friend to play with. I don't see my mom or dad, his friend said, sounding scared. Doug remember a way to get a better view of things. So, so, they flew way up high. There they are, a little boy shouted. When they landed, the little boy ran to his mother and father. Doug thought about his old parents. Suddenly he wanted to tell them everything he had learned today. The best thing he learned was that to show your parents you loved them. You should give them a great big hug. And his parents thought he was the smartest robot ever. The end. Well, thank you for all the book bundles you ever saw today. But see you next time. I mean, see you next time. Bye.